Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our cooking channel. Of course, we're not up in Wyoming right now. We're down here in beautiful Arizona. My goodness, it's beautiful down here. And it's getting close to Christmas time, so we're going to do something wonderful, fun, and easy because we're camped out here on the desert and enjoying this wonderful warmth. The winds come up a bit, though, so hopefully you can hear me fine. But anyway, what we're doing, because it is Christmas time, we're doing a turkey meatloaf. We would love to do a whole turkey, but with just my husband and I, this turkey meatloaf turns out absolutely perfect. And what we're going to do here is I'll tell you some of my ingredients, and then I'm going to show you putting it together. And we're going to bake it today in a 10-inch Dutch oven that I'm going to put my meatloaf on parchment paper and cook it in that. And then we have this wonderful garbage can with the wind blowing that we cook it in that. And we do have a YouTube on that, and you'll have to watch that. That is the handiest thing when you're out here and the wind's blowing, whether it's in Wyoming or on the desert or wherever you're at. It's just really a great way to cook. Okay, first what I'm going to do here is, and I have all my ingredients ready. It's just one of those things that just makes things easier, especially when you're out camping, is I have two pounds of ground turkey that I've got here. And I've got two stalks of celery that I've got all chopped up here and one apple that I've chopped up. And I don't peel my apples, but you can go ahead and peel your apples. And I'm going to go ahead and add this all to my turkey here. And then I'll just mix this all together. And then I have one medium onion that I have finely diced that I'm going to go ahead and add to this. I always do them ahead of time and dice them up. Of course, right now I'm throwing them all over the place. So there we go. And for my seasonings, what I'm putting in here is a tablespoon of poultry seasoning. And if you don't want to use that, you can use a teaspoon of sage and a teaspoon of rosemary. I have a teaspoon of black pepper, which we love the pepper blend with alpine spice. And a lot of our videos, we're using that one. And then a teaspoon of uh, garlic. So we're going to put that in there. Then my next ingredient is... And I love to use Mrs. Covison's traditional stovetop stuffing, but whatever you want to use is fine. And I am going to go ahead and put a cup and a half of, of this in here. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow my stuff away here. I knew that was going to happen. been a challenge here today doing things outside because the wind comes and goes. But anyway, I'm putting in a couple cups of, of this stuffing mix. And this has a little bit of seasoning in it also. So there we go. And then for my liquid, I'm putting chicken broth that I love to use. And I love this organic one. Either that or if I have time, I make my own. And I'm just going to put enough of this in here just to moisten it. i got to kind of anchor things down here. Like I told you, I'm having fun with the wind today. My husband, the cameraman's over there grinning at me. I'm just going to add a little bit of this. You don't want to get too much of it in there. And then, of course, the fun part is getting in here and just mixing it with your hands. We hope you're enjoying this with us today. We have a lot of wonderful, fun videos. And we would love it if you would subscribe, hit that like button. And when you subscribe, all that does is tells you when we have another wonderful video coming out.
Yeah, you just want to mix this really well here. And then today what I'm going to serve this with is some fresh cranberry sauce that I've made, some fresh broccoli. We're so fortunate down here that we get all these wonderful vegetables right from the fields. Because we are not too far from Yuma, Arizona. Which is known for its wonderful fresh vegetables. Okay, that's mixed up real well. Now what I'm going to do is... You always got to keep a paper towel or something wipe your hands off here. I'm going to put out a piece of parchment paper here and I'm going to form my loaf right on this parchment paper then put it in my Dutch oven and then it's just easy to take it out and lift it out when it's all done. And as this is cooking, we'll continue to keep adding briquettes. Because we want to keep the temperature about 350 and bake it for about an hour and a half. I know my husband this morning said, now is this 10 inch going to be big enough? And I guaranteed him, yes, it would be big enough, as you can see. And then that's just going to go right down in here. Look at that. And what we do also is we have an instant read thermometer that we will be checking the temperature to make sure that this is completely done, which 165 is the temperature that we're going for. All right, there we go. Oh my, our wonderful turkey meatloaf got done and it took about an hour and a half. And our wonderful garbage can cooker here, which if you go into the description below, and there's a link there that you can go to that video and, and watch that and it is really nice. And it took about an hour and a half to cook this today. And of course we used our instant read thermometer and it got to the temperature that it's supposed to. Of course we're gonna let this cool a bit, slice it, have it with turkey gravy, and cranberries and fresh broccoli and of course we're going to have pumpkin pie later to go along with it thank you for joining us of course you know our motto is great food shared with family and friends equals great times